Hello lovely people and welcome back to Accidental Adult. I have a new place and a new kitchen and today we will be making Adas Abhamud or lemon and lentil soup. First thing you need to do is wash the lentils and put them in a pot. Next, fill the pot with enough water to cover the lentils and bring them to a boil on medium heat. Now for the veggies. Cut one medium potato into medium cubes and one zucchini or you can do one cup of each. So people don't usually put carrots in this recipe but my grandma does so I'm adding one but it's totally optional and now I'm just waving my hands for no reason and cut them into half circles. And now for the Swiss chard. Wait, what are you doing? Excuse me. Stop it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hi. Um, so if you don't like Swiss chard, that's fine. You can use spinach instead. If you don't want to use normal potatoes, you can use sweet potatoes instead. The base of the recipe are the lentils and the lemon. You could play around with the rest of the veggies. There's really no rule to it or quantity. As long as you're using the veggies that you like, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. That is all. Carry on. Because we're only gonna use the leaves, put it flat side down and cut off the stem. And then cut them into medium sized bunches. Add all the veggies to the pot and cover them with water. I like to use boiling water from a kettle because it's just faster. Next, you want to season the water with salt because that's how the veggies are going to get nicely seasoned inside out. If it looks like I'm putting too much salt, I'm not because I'm literally seasoning water. The best way to know if you added enough salt is to put your finger in the boiling water and taste it. If it's not salty enough, add more salt. If it's too salty, add more water. Basically, you want to be able to taste the salt without it being overpowering or else your veggies will be salty. And that's no good. A few moments later. It's important to stir frequently because you don't want the lentils to stick to the bottom, which they will because the weight of all the other veggies are pushing the lentils down. It's now time to dice one medium onion and crush one small clove of garlic. I only had a big one, so I just used half. You can make sure all the veggies are done when you can easily stab them with a fork. And for the lentils, you can just taste them. When the veggies are done, it's time to cook the onions and garlic. Add two tablespoons of olive oil to a pan and when the oil is hot, add the garlic and onions and cook them until they are translucent or pink. You don't want to brown them. Add the onions and garlic and oil to the pot and mix them all together. So the reason we're diluting uh, the flour in cold water is because if you add it to the hot water immediately, it's going to clump up and it's going to be disgusting. So you need to dilute it in cold water first and then add it to the soup. So as soon as you add the flour, things are going to start to stick to the bottom, especially the lentil. So it's very important to keep stirring frequently just like before just more often now so when you start adding your lemon make sure you add it gradually to make sure that you get the taste that you like as you know lemony as you want it i don't have the lemon juicer thing so i'm doing it by hand and i'm being so careful not to get any seeds inside birds it burns! <laughs> mm. Needs another lemon. So that's basically what you do. You keep adding lemon, stirring, and tasting until you reach the desired taste. You know what I mean, it all depends on how you like it. So. So good. 
I didn't even season it yet. Mm. Okay, so for seasoning, you want to add cumin and just the same. A little bit more cumin. Mm. Mm. That's it. <laughs> so if you feel like the soup is a little bit thick, you can always add a little bit of water and it will unthicken it. <laughs> this I just love this soup. It's probably one of my favorite soups because it's just so healthy and you know it's great to have when you're sick or when you're not it's just a really good soup that i highly recommend you making because it's so so good it's such a good soup just make it and let me know what you think and that is all i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you did subscribe if you aren't already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time so if you feel like the <laughs> to use normal potatoes you can use sweet potatoes sweet what <laughs> much more Okay.